Hello everyone. Let's continue from the previous lecture that was about orifice. Now let's discuss mouthpiece. A mouthpiece is a small tube or pipe attached to an orifice maybe uh, or opening. So how does it differ from an orifice? The main principle is similar actually. Whatever amount of head you provide that will govern the flow through this mouthpiece. So if you increase the head more flow will take place. Now inside the mouthpiece something different happens actually. Let's try to uh, look at what happens inside the mouthpiece. So when flow enters this mouthpiece as we know there is going to be some kind of contraction. So when this contraction happens the vena contracta is going to be somewhere over here and the cross section of the water jet is going to be um, slightly less than the actual area at this opening. Now if the uh, mouthpiece length is not that great then what will happen is this cross-sectional area, it'll, as it moves along, it's it will slightly increase actually. If the length of the mouthpiece is not uh, very large, then it will simply get released like this. So in that case, the presence of the mouthpiece doesn't matter. It will be simply like an orifice. But if it is, um, it expands so that when it leaves the mouthpiece outlet, it again fills up the entire cross section here. In that case, we know that at this point, the pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure. And at this point, since the cross section of the flow is smaller than at this point, Definitely the velocity at this point will be higher than velocity at this point. The amount is very small actually, but still there is some difference. Now what does it mean? Let's try to look at the Bernoulli's equation for this section and this section. So let's call this section section C and this section um, Section O, suppose. O means outlet. So, at this section, whatever is the velocity, let's call it um, VO, and at this section, the velocity is VC. Now, uh, and since it's, uh, we are considering a horizontal mouthpiece, Z1 and Z2 will be, or ZO and ZC will be same. Therefore, in the Bernoulli's equation, we can cancel them out. So now, if we write the Bernoulli's equation, then we uh, we can write PC by rho g, then plus V c square by 2g is equal to PO by rho g plus VO square by 2g. Now, we know that this PO is equal to atmospheric pressure and VO is velocity at the outlet. Now if at this point velocity is more and since the summation has to remain constant this means that at this point pressure must be a little bit smaller because the summation has to remain the same therefore if pressure at the outlet is equal to atmospheric that means at this point pressure is less than atmospheric which is some negative amount of Gauss pressure or vacuum pressure or suction pressure So, 
Therefore, something interesting happens when we compare an orifice and a mouthpiece because the available pressure difference between this point, the point inside the tank and this point that is at the vena contractor is actually slightly more than the difference between this pressure and atmospheric pressure because this pressure is actually less than atmospheric pressure. So therefore the effective head between uh, this point, effective head difference between this point and this point is slightly more than it would be in case of an orifice. And that is the reason why the discharge in this kind of an uh, mouthpiece is slightly greater. Now, if we want to um, find out the velocity at this point, then velocity will be some um, root over 2 gh into some coefficient of velocity cv. And in the previous case where we found the discharge to be also uh, multiplied with some other co uh, coefficient which was because the actual cross-sectional area was less than what we could measure at the actual uh, orifice but in case of a mouthpiece if it expands and fills up the whole section at the outlet the actual cross-sectional area will be the same as cross-sectional area of the mouthpiece so in that case the coefficient of contraction that is actual area of discharge divided by the area of the real opening so that becomes 1 if we consider this point then it was not 1 but since we are considering this point this uh, this outlet section therefore this value will be 1 and that's how we get the value for discharge through a Uh, mouthpiece as Q actual equal to CD multiplied by A into root over 2GH. Here CD is, you can still call it um, a product of CC and CV that is coefficient of contraction multiplied by coefficient of velocity but if the mouthpiece runs full at the outlet then this C, C is equal to 1 and if it doesn't run full then it will be not equal to 1 so you have to find out what is that ratio and do the proper calculations. One more thing that is um, whatever was the reduction in velocity or discharge because of these frictional losses, they can be reduced sometimes. For example, uh, let's consider a or an orifice where we'll have some thickness of the walls actually. So. We know that the streamlines are going to be curved like this and they are going to converge at some point and if we can adjust this mount of the orifice, this opening of the orifice in such a way that the walls are smoothened out like this and they match the pattern of the streamlines, in that case the um, head loss will be much smaller and therefore your coefficient of discharge will be very close to 1 and if you match it perfectly then your vena contractor will be exactly at this opening instead of occurring somewhere outside.
So this kind of adjustment can be made if required. But if it is not like that, if it is very sharp edged orifice, in that case, the vena contractor will be somewhere away from this edge. In case of uh, mouthpiece also, we can make those kind of adjustments. Like uh, here is suppose a mouthpiece and near, near the walls we can make it a smooth transition and this way it is very smoothly uh, entering the pipe, entering the mouthpiece tube and small amount of loss will be occurring. Mouthpieces can be of different types actually. Uh, they can be sometimes internal, sometimes they are external. For example, if we provide the mouthpiece, the tube is inside the stationary liquid on the other, that is inside the drum or tank suppose. So in that case it is called an um, internal mouthpiece. Otherwise if it is provided outside it is an external mouthpiece. 